G yesterday where Knight was insane at acting as this other peel options with the Scout of the Weeks to keep the uh, ruler safe. And now we're getting a very similar story here with the Jinx to try and keep this Jinx alive. And I think that BLG basically see the composition from Duo say, we're not looking to 5v5, right? This is all in on, you can go 1-4, you can go 1-3-1, depending on how the mid lane matchups plays out. And G2 definitely uh, took what but you mentioned in the previous game, looking at the Yasuo, looking at where Yikes pathing and decision making is, is Mickey's in trouble, take it out! That's a solo kill in the bottom lane! Unable to punish the flashless Janna! Flame Chomp has come down, Shun waiting in the wing, teleports out. Gravitim, not gonna find the root just yet, but the TP will be channeled and Caps is going to drop by Yagao in that middle lane. But this is a mess for old Caps going in. Elk forced the cleanse and flashes away, but this is a mess here for G2 because you need this wave to crash. So then you can actually try and achieve something. Yagao needs to roam out of mid, but he's frozen the wave in itself. Shun's nearby, out. Shun's nearby. This is a four versus three, but Hunt Sum is so incredibly low. Howling Gale won't find its target. Dark Sphere followed up by the root. Mickey's tanking the shots and G2 get a kill. Now Yagao is joining. Level five, doesn't have Spirit Rush available yet. Elk, blue and purple, he's caught by the Howling Gale. That should slow down any follow-up. Getting him killed. But that's the thing, it's like even if you get the, oh, hang oh, on. Oh, oh, beautifully done. BLG combo in the middle lane. With the Soraka, it's okay, you mode the prison. <laughs> gonna happen here, yeah, Bin teleports in, four members of G2 are around, he's rooted in place, locked up, held down, buying time, finds the stun, Broken Blade forced to tank it up, Nature's Grass comes down, here comes Yagao, that gets the flash out of Broken Blade, G2 Esports get a kill, it goes to Hunt Summer as well, and now they're gonna try to apply more pressure on the tower caps, can he find the stun? Oh, he Captain does! It. Finds it! Unleashes the power! Where's the rest of the members? That goes Golden Yagao using the stopwatch! Flame Choppers will not connect! On! Has arrived to the fight as well! Mickey's going low thanks to the Glitter Lance and Vershun is making his way top as well! Four members of G2 chasing! The weak are scattered and Yagao's world growth manages to keep him alive! G2 on full retreat now! Tower still the pokers! Multiple plates have fallen! Shun will get a kill back! On to Caps! Flashes forward! Shun now looking for Hunt Summer with the Arctic Assault! He's slowed by the Glitterlons! Cleanse comes out once more and Hunt Summer still running for his damned life! Will be taken down by On! 2-1-2 and support will combat reign supreme! And G2! Play it safe and allow Bin to just do Bin things. So Dega, how are you? Oh, hold up! Well, let's find out. Yeah, that's an engage following onto Yagao. Caps has still got the ult available. Teleport's completed. Bin and Broken Blade arriving. Four members of BLG are surrounding G2. Broken Blade's going low. He's still got all out and may not get a chance to use it. Forces the kill back. And Yike now flashes to safety. Howling Gale comes up. Monsoon is available. Mickey may need to pull the trigger so incredibly soon. Glitterlon falls just short. Zap tags on to Elk and he flashes forward through it. Bin finds another. For them, so for G2. What do they do after this? Because BLG aren't going to stop. The kills used. Nature's Cross dropped as well. Shun's thrown out the prison, but remember, this is just to keep members of G2 alive. Scatter the weak forward caps as the target. Manages to escape for another. Here comes Bin. Caps flashes over the wall. Moonlight Vigil doesn't find anybody. The Howling Gale catches out. He used his flash earlier, and G2 find the kill. They find the shutdown. They find life in London. That's another secured onto one. The third onto Yagao. And in the middle of the rift, Shun starts the fight, but G2 end it. Joe Mong Madness is still alive and well here in London, and G2 collapsed onto BLG AD carry. And now Shun and Bin, they're still around though. They are indeed, there's no blast cone available. Two members versus five, this Baron's taking time. Sapling is going to spot out Shun for now. He can Arctic Assault over the wall, but he won't. The Baron secured it. There is still a significant disparity. There is also 20 seconds before the Dragon's Soul, and Broken Blade is the target. Shun has already used his ult. Yagao finds the charm, may need to Spirit Rush over the wall, and does so. Shun is jumped on, Hans Summers looking for another kill. He secures it and finds the shutdown. Copper Box goes mad as Yagao's now on the retreat. Four members of BLG stepping away. The Mega Death Rocket will not find its target, and this is the first Dragon for G2. That gigantic, gigantic lead has and is teleporting in for round three. A lot of ultimates down on either side, G2. They're starting it up again. It's Baron, it's Baron. It's an MSI 2023 Baron, but how will it end this time? The Howling Gale buys time, unleash power onto Shun. He's burning, he's below 200. 
and the Super Mega Death Dogger won't find his target. G2 take a clean Baron, but they're not done yet. The Zap tags Bin. The Soul is still available, which means the fight is two. Ben needs to leap away to safety, teleporting from Broken Blade. That's two of them used in this extended engage. The Dragon has been started in G2. They are pushing BLG back. London, do you believe G2 are starting to move it towards the Dragon? Oh, Yagao goes forward, he's caught, he's stunned. This week got scattered. The Dragon secured and so is the Soul. But Yagao is taken down. Nature's Grasp splits up BLG and Shun is being chipped away. That's out right. of the way. It's time to get excited as Hunt Summer and G2 come alive! And for the first time in this game, G2 with a gold lead. And it all starts off with one of the most high value. And he's played the best bait game that I've seen. Both the mid lane engage onto him as well as the river. Uh oh. Now, yike, will he get out of this one? Scatter the Week comes out. Flame Chomp is down. And that will be an easy kill. What's going to happen? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. What's with the curse quick cost. shot? There is no such thing, Grind. We've been actually getting on top of Hans. You're in deep trouble. The As charm you... doesn't find the target. Scatter the weak! Unleashed power! Welcome back, Caps! There is no ult on Yago. He'd no way to. There's a teleport in here. Is a G2 starting the fight before the objective? Caps and Yike moving forward. Broken Blade is the target of Shun and Bin. Gets the third Q. Yagao tagged. Stepping backwards, waiting for the Nature's Cross until that's thrown down. I don't believe the fight is happening. They're trying to see if they can uh, deal with BLG before Elk can really swap over. You can see him desperately trying to get to his red and white. Needs to get rid of the Infernum if he wants to do so. G2, they move over towards the Baron. Howlin Gale will throw up Shun. Prison is unavailable. Mickey already exhausted. Nature's Grasp is down. Bin is looking to hop into the pit. He does so, but the Baron is secured by G2 in an ensuing fight. Shun is going forward. That's a resurrection coming out now for Bin, and the damage onto one sends him packing. Elk has not been able to fire. Elk did not get the red-white, but it's G2 that find themselves the kill. They've got the Baron already, and Broken Blade is holding members of BLG in place. G2 learned their lesson from the last game. No group up, no ability here for Aphelios to get a big ultimate. BLG, they have position. If you lose both buffs, you're in trouble, and the oh, TP comes through. Broken Blade went to the bottom lane. G2 esports are completely grouped up. But it's Yike that's tanking it for now. Shun is locked off from the rest of the Grand Hunt. Summer gets another, gets excited, and gets on the front foot. Elk will take him down, but not before. Caps kills Elk. G2 Esports have got the numbers advantage. They've got the Baron, and they're turning towards the base. That should be it. Mickey dies, so Hunt Summer can leave. And G2, they have the Baron. They can look for the end. G2 Esports coming back from a gigantic deficit. 30, 40 second death timers. Are you not entertained, London and the Copper Box? As G2 will pull a rabbit out of the hat. Let's not forget that it was the counter engage. It was punishing BLG, but it's not done yet. Bin needs to be taken down by G2 and is done so. The Baron and Palm Canyon Minion helping out. The Nexus turret will fall. The Nexus will be the focus, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else. We've got a series on our hands.